Hi guys, it's Mo. Welcome to today's video. I have a tutorial slash first impression kind of a demo thing. Um, it's my first time using the Huda Beauty Textured Shadows Rose Gold Edition palette. I did haul this in my Sephora VIB sale and I'm so glad that I did. So this is the look that I came up with. Stay tuned and let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to start off by priming my lids with my NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And per usual, all the products that I used are listed down below in the description box. If you're curious. Alright, on a fluffy brush, this one in particular is my Wayne Goss number 3. I'm going to go into the shade Sandalwood right here. And that's going to be my transitional shade. Okay, I'm now gonna go into the shade Henna, right here, and apply that into the crease. And I'm using my Wayne Goss number four. It's a little smaller blending brush. Now with that same brush, the number four, I'm going to go into the shade Man Eater right here. And I'm going to do that in the outer V and bring it in the crease just a little. Okay, I want to deepen up my crease just a little, so with that same brush, but in between using it, I do kind of just clean it off with my Veramona uh, color switch. So I'm going to use that same brush, and I'm going to go into the shade Bossy right here, and just, whoa, deepen up the crease just a little bit. But I'm going to hold it very far out because I don't want a lot of pigmentation. I want to more so diffuse the color but yet it's still deep enough. Okay, so I'm gonna now go back in with my number three, the bigger fluffy brush, and back into the shade Sandalwood, and kind of soften up the crease. Now, I'm going to go into one of these top shades here, which are recommended to be used with the finger. So, I'm going to go into the shade Angelic, because it kind of has like a duochrome finish to it. Like some angles it looks gold, some angles it looks kind of pink. So I'm just going to take my ring finger. Ooh, I like. I'm sure if you use a synthetic brush, you would be able to apply it as well, but I don't mind using my finger to apply makeup. It's kind of fun. Pretty. So you see how it has the pink and the gold shifts to it? It's a gorgeous color. For me personally, when I get to like the ends, I like to just blend a little. I am going to go back over with the brush, but... Alright, now I'm just going to go back over with my crease color. That shade Bossy. Right here. And blend that into the crease to kind of make sure it still looks neat. Then I'm back into Man Eater. This shade here that I used for the outer V. Just make sure we're nice and blended. I 
I just cleaned the brush off a little. And just softly blend the two shades together. And I am going to go back in with my finger. You know, I must say that on some of the reviews, I heard there was a ton of fallout. Maybe it's just the particular shades that I'm using, but I really don't have that much. It's very minimal, and I don't have any face makeup on yet, so. So far, so good. Okay, let's do a little brow bone highlight. I'm going to go in with my flat shader. This is my Wayne Goss number 17, and I'm going to go into the shade Bay. <laughs> it's like a yellow, creamy looking kind of color. It's like I like to pat the color in, clean off my brush a little, and just blend it. And grab that same transitional brush and make sure everybody's happy so there's no harsh lines. All right, let's do some face makeup, and then we'll come back and finish the eyes. So I'm going to prime my skin with my uh, Kanan Austin Primer Protect Mattifying Primer. You just need the tiniest amount of this stuff. It's so good. I'm so happy I got it. At first I was kind of like, oh my god, it's so expensive for what it is. But it's good. So I just apply this to the T-zone and then I apply another primer to my the rest of my face. I'm going to be using my Dior nude air serum i love this foundation because it feels light and it doesn't look heavy on the skin it's not like a doesn't give you a lot of coverage but i just think it looks beautiful on the skin and it wears so so well it's one of my favorites i use it like every single day <laughs> then i'll just go in with the beauty blender Time for some concealer. Surprise, <laughs> no surprise here. It's my by Terry. Terribly dense less concealer. Take my brush and stipple it. And then immediately, beauty blender. Alright, for my under eye, I use my By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder with my Wayne Goss number no. 2 brush. I like to push this into the skin and then kind of sweep. And then just grab my large fluffy brush and set the rest of my face. Gonna bronze up my face a little. I'm not gonna contour, just bronze a little. I'm gonna do my highlight and then my blush. This is the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights palette. I like to go into the shade Nightlight. It's like the lighter of the golds. I'll go on with my blush and this little guy here is a NARS blush I got this um, the VIB Rouge thing Golulu <laughs> I don't know the shade name um, but like I said everything I use is always listed down below in the description box okay I kind of feel like my crease is very red which is cool but I want to add just a little bit of brown to it so I'm going to grab the shade Coco and just put a little bit of that in the crease. Kind of deepen it up and break up this redness that we have going on. Just a little. You probably can't even notice it, but I can. Let's go to the shade Coco. 
with a lower lash line. And then let's go into the shade Bossy. The shade Bossy here. Kind of blend those together. Just gonna grab a clean pencil brush and smudge away. I'm just gonna take my Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Blacker, put that in the waterline, and then we'll do a little inner tear duct highlight. Okay, let's shoot. Now for a little inner tear duct highlight. I think I wanna use the shade Moon Dust right here. I'm gonna take my pencil brush. Then do a wing liner, then back. Now that I have a little wing, I like to go in with a coat of mascara. This is my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, and prepare for some falsies. <laughs> the Giselles by Huda Beauty. I figured it'd only be right to pair it up. And what better way to finish off the look this is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Trophy Wife. I have mentioned this um, in my monthly favorites. It's a great formula and I definitely need to get more colors. But if you're like thinking about it um, and you don't like liquid lipsticks that dry your uh, lips out like raisins, you'll like that. Um, I am going to top it off with just a little sparkle and glitter to kind of go with the whole vibe we've got going on. I'm going to take my ColourPop in collaboration with Hello Kitty. This is the shade Super Cute and this is an ultra glossy lip. Now to just set everything, I'm taking the Cinema Secret Super Sealer. and literally bathe in it <laughs> and that's it I must say I'm very very happy that I got this palette I like the way it performs I do plan on playing around a little bit more with the palette but my first impression with this first look that I have created with it I like it thank you guys so much for watching thank you for letting me share this with you truly appreciate it stay beautiful guys I'll see you soon bye